Once upon a time, in the bustling city of London, there lived three children named Wendy, John and Michael. They lived with their loving parents in a cosy house. One starry night, their lives took a magical turn. A boy named Peter Pan flew in through their nursery window. Peter Pan was no ordinary boy. He hailed from Neverland, a magical place where children never grew up. He could fly, and he was always accompanied by a tiny, sparkling fairy named Tinker Bell. Peter had lost his shadow during a previous visit to London and had returned to retrieve it. Wendy, being kind and helpful, sewed Peter's shadow back onto him. As a thank you, Peter invited the darling children to Neverland. Would you like to fly? Peter asked the children. With a sprinkle of fairy dust and a leap of faith, they all flew out of the window, over the rooftops of London, past the second star to the right, and straight on till morning. They arrived in Neverland, a place filled with mermaids, fairies, and even a tribe of red Indians. But Neverland was also home to a band of pirates led by the fearsome Captain Hook. In Neverland, they met Peter's best friend, a tiny fairy named Tinkerbell. She glowed like a firefly and was always by Peter's side. They also met the Lost Boys, a group of boys who, like Peter, never wanted to grow up. They lived in tree houses and played all day. Peter and the darling children had many adventures in Neverland. They played with the Lost Boys, swam with the mermaids, and even rescued the Indian princess Tiger Lily from Captain Hook. But as time passed, the darling children began to miss their home. Wendy decided that they needed to return to London. She convinced the Lost Boys to come with them, promising to find them homes in London. Peter, however, chose to stay in Neverland. The journey home from Neverland was fraught with danger. Captain Hook, seeking revenge, captured the darling children and the Lost Boys, leaving Peter for dead. But Peter, with the help of Tinkerbell, managed to escape and rescue the children. Peter, being nimble and quick, managed to disarm Hook. In his desperation, Hook attempted to flee, but was pursued by the crocodile who wanted to eat the rest of him. In his fear, Hook jumped overboard and was last seen swimming away from Neverland. With Hook gone, Peter sailed the Jolly Roger back to London, returning everyone safely home. Back in London, the darling parents were overjoyed to see their children. They welcomed the lost boys into their home and adopted them. Wendy, John and Michael went on to live their lives, growing up as all children must. They never forgot their adventures in Neverland. As for Peter, he returned to Neverland, forever remaining the boy who never grew up. And though he was often alone, he was never lonely, for he had his shadow, his memories, and the whole of Neverland to keep him company. And so, the story of Peter Pan, the boy who never grew up, continues, with new adventures waiting just around the corner.